What's interesting this time around, the foreclosure chart normally explodes. But this time, I think it's going to have a really hard time doing that. I want you to think about the last five or maybe even five to seven years. How many people have been able to buy a home fudging their income or with no down payment? Has that been the dominant person? No. The dominant person has gotten 20% down loans and had, had to have a job and had to have good credit. This is equ equity extraction as a percentage of disposable income. So we were just having the f time of our life over here and over here. We do it every time we get, we get equity until this time. This time, we haven't extracted a dime. So if you have a foreclosure problem this time, you, let's say you have foreclosures, you're going to have a bunch of people in foreclosure that have a fixed loan that's probably 40 or 50% LTV. So what? They're going to put it up for sale, get money, and, and do something with it. This is a very unusual ending for California. So I'm not afraid of this coming downturn being severe. And this is one of the reasons, is because there's too much safety built into the lending world, so much safety that you prevented a price boom to, to any great extent, to where we would go overboard and go, okay, now we're going to pay a price for it. So this lack of equity extraction and the carefulness of credit has probably been overkill, but it's going to prevent... Um, probably yes, from a getting to an unreasonable peak price, and then we don't have a lot more to give back.